Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about arithmetic series. We will determine the sum of the terms of a given arithmetic sequence or what we call the arithmetic series. What is arithmetic series? Arithmetic series is the indicated sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. The sum of the first n terms of a sequence called a partial sum is denoted by S sub n. So, yung mga sum ng mga terms ng arithmetic sequence ay tinatawag na arithmetic series. We can find the arithmetic series using formulas. Meron tayong dalawang formula sa paghanap ng arithmetic series. Formula 1. S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. Kung ang a sub n is given, ito ang ating gagamitin. Formula 2. S sub n equals n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Ito ang ating gagamitin if a sub n is not given. Where a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the last term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Remember, if a sub n is given, formula 1 ang gagamitin. If a sub n is not given, formula 2 ang ating gagamitin. Let's have examples. Let us have example 1. Find the sum of the first 30 natural numbers. Ano kaya yung sum ng first 30 natural numbers? For our solution, let's first write the given. So, the first natural numbers is written as 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 30. So, ano kaya yung kanyang sum? Then, let's write the given. Ang ating first term, a sub 1 is 1. And then, ang ating a sub n or yung last term is 30. The number of terms is equal to 30. So, ang a sub n natin is given, kaya ang gagamitin natin formula is the first formula. Which is, s sub n equals n over 2 times the sum of a sub 1 and a sub n. Let's substitute. n is 30, so we have 30 over 2. a sub 1 is 1, so we have 1 plus a sub n is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 1 plus 30 is 31. Then, let's multiply 15 and 31. The product is 465. Therefore, the sum of the first 30 natural numbers is 465. Let's have another example. Let's have example 2. Find the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence 50, 47, 44, 41, 38, and so on. So, this is our given sequence 50, 47, 44, 41, 38, and so on. So, based sa ating given, wala siyang last term. So, ang given natin, a sub 1 is 50. Ang common difference is negative 3. So, 47 minus 50, that is negative 3. 44 minus 47, that is negative 3. 41 minus 44 is negative 3. 38 minus 41 is negative 3. And then, the number of terms is 12. Since wala tayong a sub n or last term, ang gagamitin nating formula is the second formula, which is s sub n equals n over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Let's substitute the given to the formula. s sub n, our n is 12, so we have 12 over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 is 50, plus n is 12, 12 minus 1, times d, which is negative 3. Then, perform the operation. s sub n equals 12 over 2 is 6, 2 times 50 is 100, plus 
12 minus 1 is 11 times negative 3. 11 times negative 3 is negative 33. Let's get the difference. 100 minus 33 is 67. 6 times 67 is equal to 402. Therefore, the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence, 50, 47, 44, 41, 38, and so on, is 402. Yan. Naiintindihan ba? Let us have example 3. A stack of soap boxes has 12 boxes in the bottom row, 11 boxes in the second row, 10 in the next row, and so on. How many boxes are there in the stack? So, from our given problem, the total number of boxes in the stack will be given by 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus up to 1. Therefore, ang given natin is, ang first, ang first term is 12, ang A sub N natin or yung last term is 1, and then yung number of terms natin is 12. Since meron tayong A sub N, ang gagamitin nating formula is the first formula, which is S sub N equals N over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. Let's substitute the given to this equation. s sub n equals our n is 12 divided by 2 times our a sub 1 is 12 plus 1. 1 is our a sub n. Then let's divide 12 and 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then, let's add 12 and 1. 12 plus 1 is 13. Then, let's get the product of 6 and 13. 6 times 13 is 78. Therefore, there are 78 soap boxes in the stock. Okay? That's how we solve problem involving arithmetic series. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to share a simple quotation. Nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small jobs. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.